Jenny from Team Super Awesome Art and I'm here with Hutch today. I thought that today we'd do an update video for you guys since we haven't done one in a very long time. I'm going to be showing you guys three custom Funko Pops. It's Drop Dead Fred, Show Enough, and Hellboy. Actually four custom Funko Pops that we'll talk about. Um, we just got a commission today to do a, uh, who is it? Majin Vegeta. A Majin Vegeta. I'm also working on a Pokemon character, and it's a full sculpt, so no vinyl on that one. We're also doing a DIY Freddy and some Crystal Mystery Mini Funkos. So we're going to show you guys all of that. The first one is Show Enough from the movie The Last Dragon. Um, this is a really cool custom because this is a real character. Um, if you guys have not seen The Last Dragon, that movie came out in the mid-80s. I believe and it is kind of a parody type movie um, and it kind of pokes fun at the uh, 80s martial arts movies. This is one of the characters from the movie and he is the villain in the movie. He really uh, has a lot going on. He wears this kind of martial arts uniform and he has a leopard belt on which is um, with like a leopard face on the front there. So he's really cool. We sculpted the head on this, the, I mean, we sculpted the hair on this guy and his whole entire uniform. Um, he's ready for paint. We've primed him and um, I just finished giving him a goatee. I'm probably going to start painting him, if not today, hopefully tomorrow. So there he is so far. He is primed, sanded, and ready for paint. Next one we're working on is a Drop Dead Fred Funko Pop. and. This is also an old movie. It was made in the early 90s, I believe, and it is a really cute movie. The reason I don't have the pop here is because he's getting a new head fitted on. So what I have so far is this body. We originally did sculpt a head. I don't like what's going on with that, so instead of trying to fix that, we're going to just redo the entire head. With a character like Drop Dead Fred, uh, the hair is really what makes him, so it's important to really capture that look in a pop. So hopefully he'll come out awesome and he'll be ready to paint soon. Next up is a DIY Freddy. So um, this figure came out at the Funko shop and it was limited to a thousand. This is what we have so far and um, it's a little bit of what I worked on these last two days. It's all the stripes. This is a really cool figure because Hutch and I are both working on this figure. He did the face he airbrushed the face, and then I am working on the body, the hair, and the crown. The reason I don't want to show you the whole thing is because he's really almost done, and I don't want to give the character away. So when I do make the entire video, you guys um, can see the whole thing finished, and I'll make a video of us working on it uh, then too. But for now, you guys can kind of guess as to what you think the character might be. Leave your comments down below with your guesses, because we'd really like to hear um, who you guys think it's going to end up being. Next thing I want to show you guys is something that I've been working on. It's a little custom Pokemon and it is Squirtle inspired. The reason for me making this guy is because on my news feed I've been seeing a lot of Pokemon Go uh, posts and comments and pictures so it inspired me to try and make a Pokemon. This figure is fully sculpted, there's no vinyl in here and I went with a more of a hyper realistic type Pokemon little uh, Squirtle guy only because I really wanted to be creative and just kind of do my own thing with this guy. So this is what I came up with. He's ready for paint. Hopefully it comes out really cool. I'm really excited to paint this. Um, without a vinyl in there, I really got to do my own thing and be really creative with this one. So um, I'm really excited for it and hopefully the paint job goes well and he looks super adorable. The next thing I want to share with you guys is what Hutch is working on over here and it is a Hellboy custom Funko Pop. This thing is amazing. Um, originally when we got this commission, we didn't know, well we couldn't decide on who was going to do what. Originally I was going to sculpt it and he was going to paint it, but we switched so he's sculpted this pop and I am going to paint it soon. He's almost done, but check that thing out. This is probably the coolest pop ever. Um, that we've worked, I don't know if it's the coolest that we've worked on, but he's close. Um, he's close. Uh, yeah, this thing is amazing. Check out his pants. Check out all the detail that was all sculpted on. Um, everything, the little cross was added. There's a horseshoe. There's a couple pouches, a couple belts on this guy. Uh, he also sculpted 
the hand onto this pop and then he re-sculpted this whole arm, repositioned it, re-sculpted it, and then added that awesome gun. Um, this gun actually took five hours to make. So this is what he used to make the gun. And what it is, it's a wax. And it looks like this to start off with. So it's just melted wax, it comes in a brick, and then it, you melt it down and then you form it into whatever you want. In this case, it's this awesome gun. This took him five hours. So um, a lot of work and a lot of detail went into this pop. Once he had this sculpted in wax, we made a mold of it and then he added it to the pop over here. Um, really cool little detail. It's a lot of work, but definitely worth it because it really does add a lot to this pop. Um, yeah, this guy is full of detail. I'm super excited. I get to paint this. Um, we were just talking, this is probably the coolest uh, figure that we've worked on together. Uh, I think the only other one was the Groot. We did a Cherry Blossom, Blossom Groot. I'm going to post it here so you guys can check that out. We did that like maybe what, a year and a half ago. Uh, we worked on that one together. This is the next one we're going to work on together. So really exciting. I'm super, super excited to paint this. I can't wait to see what he looks like in red, even though this gray version is pretty awesome too. We are talking about I just leave it like that. It's really, really, really cool. He's going to finish sanding, right? You're sanding? Yeah. He's going to finish sanding that one. So what he did was he primed it in gray. This is what it looked like um, before it was primed. Uh, he used Super Sculpey Firm and Super Sculpey in order to achieve the sculpt on him. Then he baked it, then he primed it in gray, and now he's sanding it down uh, in order to make it super nice and smooth and look like a factory-made Funko Pop. So a lot, a lot of work is really going into this guy. The next custom Funko Pop that we just got a commission for today is a Majin Vegeta. Uh, is that right? No, yes. I always say that wrong, so. Imagine Vegeta, and um, Hutch is going to do this one. He's going to sculpt it. Are you going to paint it? Maybe. He may be painting it. See I may be it painting goes. it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to, what do we have to show? Do we have anything to show? He's in the oven, right? Oh, the body's over there. body's over there. All right, so I'm going to post pictures. The head, he used a Vegeta... Funko Pop in order to make that. He took off the viewfinder. When you take off the viewfinder, I'm going to tell you guys this right now because you guys might not know this, before you take off a viewfinder off of a Vegeta, he is left with a giant gaping hole on the side of his head. So it's about like that big. So he had to take the viewfinder off and then add a, add his ear onto that. So he re-sculpted um, Vegeta's ear on the left side where the viewfinder was. He did that today, and then he worked on the body. Let me go get the body. This, you just worked on this for a little bit, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not really worth showing. It's not worth showing, but I'm going to show it anyways. This is pretty much what he has so far. He literally just started, so um, he just started putting clay on this guy. This was a wrestler figure, and you did adjust the arms. He did adjust the arms um, to give it a new pose. So that's what he has so far. Uh, like I said, it's a brand new commission, so... It's just started, so we'll see how it ends up. The next thing we want to share with you guys is these Crystal Mystery Mini Funko figures that Maria's working on. This one is completely finished, and it is uh, Poison Ivy, and these figures are from the Arkham Knight Mystery Mini figures. And this is so amazing. Check her out. She is so sparkly and beautiful, and the detail that goes into these is really incredible. So this one, what I love about it is if you look closely, the she has these vine patterns done in different color crystals in the green all over her body, which is amazing. She also gave her eyes pupils because these little figures don't come with pupils. Um, this one's completely done. She's also working on a Batman right here, and he is so cool looking. And then she's also working on this Joker, and he is, he has his head done and his shirt. The, the, what she's working on is everything in purple, I believe, 
and the white on his um, sleeves there. What's tricky about these is um, because they're smaller, she uses smaller stones. So because of that, these are just as difficult and just as many stones, almost as many stones as a full-size Funko Pop. Um, only because the, the crystals are smaller, uh, it takes more crystals to fill up the space. Uh, and it's a lot harder because they are smaller, so you're working with tiny, tiny little crystals. Um, it's a lot, a lot of work. These are about 800 to 1,000 crystals each um, little figure. So lots of work, but they're super beautiful. Uh, another thing that I always forget to mention is that these things, um, the stones add a lot of weight to these little vinyl figures, which is awesome because it feels, feels heavy and it feels, I don't know, it feels very rich and awesome to hold. Uh, these guys are so cool. They're super sparkly. Really hard to do, but um, super worth it. Like I said, Maria does these. She's supposed to be sitting here, but I don't know where she is. Um, she's supposed to be finishing these. She said she'd be back, but she's not. But here they are so far, <laughs> and yeah, they're awesome. All right, guys, the next thing I want to share with you guys is we do want to make more how-to videos. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do have a video explaining how to work on a custom from start to finish, or at least what we do from start to finish. If you guys would like to try, it's a tutorial. Uh, featuring everything that we use to make a custom Funko Pop. The thing with that is I kind of run through everything and I don't really touch on any specific thing in that video. So what I want to do is I want to break every section down and make a full video of each uh, step. So that way if there are any questions that I missed in that video I can answer them in the new videos. So definitely if you guys have any questions on customs um, leave them down below and we'll be more than happy to address them in our future videos. Some of the videos that I do really want to work on because they're questions that we get asked very, very often is pr on priming and on sculpting. So those are two videos that we would love to make. Definitely leave your questions down below on those two topics so we can address them in those videos as well. Alright guys, I think that's everything for this video. I hope I didn't miss anything. That's what we're up to so far. Comment below if you guys have any questions on any of this. We'd be more than happy to answer your questions for you. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, subscribe to see more cool stuff from us in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching.